Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be doing a follow-up on the new Unify UPS Tower. There were a lot of comments asking some specific questions that I didn't get to in that video, so let's get started. The first main question, is the battery replaceable? And yes, it is. So we could take our UPS Tower. I'm gonna put it on the side because I find it easier to get the front off. So it is a little bright right here, but you could just see that I'm gonna pull the front cover off and I'm gonna pull it completely down. Now that the cover's off, we see that the battery is exposed. So we have this little clip here that we need to take apart. With the clip now out, there is a pull tab that we could pull this battery completely out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And here we have the battery and I'm just gonna look at the name of it. The name is the MHB MS9-12. This is a 12 volt, nine amp hour 20 hours that's what it says right on the front i will put the name in the description but i'm not too sure where you find this exact same battery i'm sure you could find a battery that is similar to this that you could get off of amazon and on the top we just have where we would put our black and our red cables we could completely pull these off now to get the battery back in we want to make sure that the arrow tab is at the bottom and we could also see that this wire is at the bottom as well so we just need to push the battery back inside once it's backed inside, we could connect the cables. And it's just going to be as easy to put the lid on. We're just going to put it on our side. And then I'm going to grab the lid and I'm just going to slide it up top. So now the faceplate is on. We're just going to slide up top and it will lock in. The next question is how long is the power cable on the UPS tower as it is directly built into the back of it? It was about five and a half feet when I did my measurements. The next question was asked probably the most. We have my UNAS Pro here and the UPS tower. So what happens when this does a safe shutdown? It will shut down after the 10 seconds, but do we physically have to come and power cycle it? So let's go ahead. We're going to pair this UNAS Pro to the UPS tower. You can see here that I have my UNAS Pro and it's ready to pair. And we also have my UMBR Pro, but we only have the UNAS Pro currently plugged into this. So I'm going to click to pair. We need to enter our credentials. So your email and your password. We can see the status of the UNAS Pro that is currently paired. And one thing that I didn't notice as well is under this battery, when we pull it from our power supply, it will tell you how many minutes till it shuts down. So I'm going to pull this from the power and then we're going to see if this goes from the safe shutdown and how we power it back up. I do have a power bar right under this desk. The UPS tower does make a humming noise like any other UPS as well. So let's see if this is going to do a safe shutdown. Okay, and the UNAS Pro is shutting down currently. And I'm going to switch back to my other screen. And we could see that we have time till empty with the battery. It says it's going to be about 20 minutes. I'm not going to wait that long. We're going to end up powering this back up after the UNAS Pro powers down. And we're going to see how we get this back up online. The UNAS Pro has completely powered off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in the Unify UPS Tower into the power down below. Now, as we could see with the UPS Tower, it is currently charging the battery as it's plugged into my main power. But looking at our UNAS Pro, it isn't currently powered up. Now, one thing I'm going to try before we actually have to physically reset the power on this device, I'm going to go over to the settings wheel and they do have this remote power off. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to press proceed, even though it's already powered off currently. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a remote power on. I'm going to turn the NAS around to see if it is actually powering on the device. In doing that, it did not restore power to my UNAS Pro. So we're physically going to have to come to the tower. We're going to have to unplug it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it back in. And I can hear the fan spinning in the UNAS Pro, so it is getting power. Once it does come back online, we're going to try this remote power off and then remote power back on. The UNAS Pro is now completely powered on. I'm going to hit this remote power off. It should shut down this UNAS Pro, and when we do the remote power on, it should bring it back up. So let's give it a try. And it did, in fact, turn the UNAS Pro completely off. So we're going to go back to my settings. You guys can't see this, but I'm going to hit remote power back on, and hopefully this UNAS Pro comes back online. The UNAS Pro did come back online after I issued that remote power on command to it, and that took about 10 seconds to come up. So if you have a power outage and your UPS tower goes offline, you're physically gonna have to come over to your devices that are paired to it 
unplug the power and then plug it back in. The last thing that we're gonna take a look at is what devices are compatible with the UPS tower. You could see here I'm on the product page and we have a ton of different devices. There are 54 in total. UCG Fiber, UDM Pro, UDM Pro Max, and so on. You could go ahead, look at the store page to see what's compatible. That's gonna be my video on the UPS Tower follow-up video. I'm sure there's gonna be more questions, so comment down below or join one of my live stream and I'll try to answer the best I can. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.